everyone and welcome to a very special edition of Ask Evan here with Maria. Today we're going to answer a question from one of our readers, Anil. Anil says, Dear Evan, I regularly get your newsletter and enjoy the great content. Can you give a demo of how you do the mail merge to send out newsletters please? Unfortunately, Evan has switched from Outlook to Gmail, therefore I will be doing the demo with you today. However, to make things a little bit more interesting, instead of doing a newsletter, we're going to do a mail merge for my website party. So what you'll need is a Word document, an Excel document, and obviously a look to send your mail merge. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you my invitation, which is my Word document, and I'm going to read it for you and show you where we're gonna place the placeholders, which is gonna be found in our Excel document. Sorry about that. So it says dear and it's blank. So we're gonna place the first placeholder here. You are cordially invited to Maria's website party. Once you arrive at the party, you will receive, receive a name tag, which will indicate your website. So here's gonna be the second placeholder. Once you receive your name tag, please be seated in section blank. So here we're going to place the third placeholder. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Cheers, Maria. So what I'm going to do now is show you my Excel document, which has our four placeholders. I know in the Word document, I only said there was three, but you always need to add an extra placeholder, which is going to be the email address, which you're sending to the recipients receiving your mail merge. So the first placeholder is going to be my guest. Then it's the second one is website. And then the third is the section where my guests are going to be seated. So once you have your Excel document ready, you're going to save it to a place where you're not gonna forget, you're gonna need this right away. So you're gonna save it and close it. If you don't close it, it's not gonna work properly. Then we're gonna go to our Word document and we're gonna open Tools and go to Mail Merge Manager. I know for some of you that have Windows instead of Mac, it may look a little bit different, but if you follow the steps, you will have a successful mail merge, I promise. So the first step we're going to do is um, click create new and since I already clicked on this before, you're going to click on form letters. Step two is you're going to get at your list and the list is your Excel list. So you're going to open data source and go to party invitation. That's the name of my Excel document and click OK. Here it's going to ask you which sheet you want to use because you can have multiple sheets in an Excel document. Choose the correct sheet and you want the entire worksheet cell range. So you're going to click OK. And then we're going to go to step three where the four placeholders are shown. So now what I'm going to do is make sure my spacing is correct because once you send a mail merge to, I don't know, 50, 100, 1000 people, you want it to look really nice. So I'm going to make sure my spacing is well and I'm going to add in the guest information here. I'm going to add in the website information here. And lastly, the seed section. Also, just a quick note here, when you're making your Excel document, make sure you give each section of your placeholders a precise name. For example, I could have named guest whatever but it would have been harder for me to know which placeholder to place where depending on how many placeholders you're going to be using when you send your mail merge so once i've put in my three placeholders i'm going to go to step four and also remember we're going to ignore step uh placeholder number four which is the email address so number four is you have a filter option here if let's say you have a party and you're, you invited 50 people and you're only sure about 40 the other 10 you can click options and make sure that you keep them out of the mail merge the next option is the preview results this is my favorite if you click on the abc button or view merge data you can actually see 
all your placeholders. So it doesn't just show the title, it shows the actual information. And then you can go through each of your recipients and make sure that the spacing is correct, name is spelled correct, the correct website, etc. If you're happy with that, you're gonna go to the last step and complete merge. So you're gonna click on the button that says generate email messages. And here is where we're gonna place our fourth and very last placeholder email because you want it to email them. You're gonna put a subject, my website pretty. And here you have an option to send as text, attachment, or HTML message. I usually prefer to send it as an HTML message because I have pictures and banners in my signature and I want the people to see it. But if you don't prefer the pictures to be shown, you can always send it as a text. So I'm gonna choose HTML message here and then you're gonna click on mail merge to outbox. So pretend you clicked on that. If you go to your outbox and click on your sent items, you will see your list is slowly starting to build up and all the recipients on your list will be receiving the email. So once you're finished, you can close this and your recipients will have their email. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it was very simple. If you have any questions, please, please, please feel free to comment below and I will respond to you as soon as I can. Thanks guys.